Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 28th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. And welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well as earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Always starting out here, looking at our sun at 304 angstroms. This is the filter that we are using from Solar Dynamics Observatory. Observing numerous sunspots as well, some big time cresting imagery right now. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming. Watching there on the cresting limb, two sunspot regions growing quickly. This quite possibly could be the area that produced that large halo CME on the other side of our sun. And we were hit by it days ago. This is the last 48 hours outgoing. Having a look here at multi-spectrum, we can see all of the events. Large coronal hole Earth facing right now. So we can expect our solar winds to pick up over the next 24 to 36 hours. As well, noticing a big event, northeast region of our sun. Huge filament eruption. It did produce a CME, but not in an Earth-facing fashion, as you can see, was outgoing. Having a closer look here at the region, sunspot region that produced the CME, huge loops of energy, probably 10 Earths tall, and you can see the whirlwind of energy just before this, the huge whip away, as well noticing their filaments and solar tornadoes in the Northern Hemisphere. Same region we saw one last week, just some amazing and crazy imagery here of our sun. Thanks everybody for tuning in. I hope you enjoy these daily updates, keeping humanity aware and prepared to daily events. Another close look here at our sun in another light. Coronal hole turning away and one more turning in with seven sunspot regions to watch. Having a look here at space weather conditions, we're sitting at about 367 kilometers per second. No geomagnetic storms to report. Solar X-ray flux. C-class solar flares throughout the day today. Geomagnetic activity sitting at KP1. Real-time solar wind, 372, as I said. But it did jump up earlier today to about 570 kilometers per second. A little impact of something there early this morning, around 10.30 a.m. UTC time. And this is a look at our magnetosphere, yet again at some really minor winds. This is the pressure, still seem to be under a lot of pressure right now. As we did have a little bit of a Schumann spike to go with this today. Iswa Space Prediction Spiral showing a CME taking off towards the Parker Solar Probe. And we are expecting a space weather event here, 30th into the 31st. Another coronal hole region. Having a look at Alaska 2, this is where we'll see the CME that took off from the sun, right there. This is the last two days of images. And today's latest CME is the only one to report the last two days. Amazing imagery here from that large CME blast right at the Parker Solar Probe. Boom. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 25. Nice healthy spike there just after 10 a.m. when we did see that solar wind impact. Amplitude of 25, quality 9.3, frequency max 8.38. Healthy red power. Having a look at earthquakes here for the past 24 hours, 
We did have some sizable earthquakes as forecasted here with daily events worldwide. One was happening pretty much in the premiere. 6.1 hit Solomon Islands at an 83 kilometer depth. That was after all of the deep activity that I showed there yesterday. Also this morning, a 6.0 in Masawa, Japan at a 34 kilometer depth was detected. Active region today, Philippines, 5.3 magnitude there, and as well the Banda Sea, 4.6, ranging to 4.1, and as well a 5.0 there. Solomon Islands, 5.2, 5.0, New Caledonia, 4.7, quiet across the Eurasian plate, quiet through South America, way too quiet through Central America. Activity building here through California, Northern California, reporting a small swarm. Pacifica, California, as well, Petrolia. Have a quick look here at USGS as they are reporting just about 260 earthquakes across the USGS map, 263, and 45 of them are right here Overlooking the rest of California, minor activity building east and southeast of Los Angeles as well. Yellowstone reporting some minor activity in the lake, north and south. Activity there towards Mount Shasta and up towards Mount Rainier. All of a sudden getting really quiet in Hawaii after seeing the activity increase the last couple days. That's a little bit concerning. Could see an eruption here coming soon from possibly Mauna Loa or Kilauea. And let's get to volcanoes and as well a look at satellite imagery from around the world. The most recent volcanoes getting updated. We have 48 that are active and erupting around the world and about a dozen of them get updated every day. And we try to report them here daily with this Pacific Disaster app. Showing here Shovelich in Russia, as well as Popo in Mexico. Sangue in Ecuador. Swiss and Ajima in Japan. Semeru in Indonesia, Krakatoa, Indonesia hotbed of all the earthquakes recently, Sabancaya in Peru. As well, Cotopaxi in Ecuador, Era in Japan. That's all in the last seven hours. So pretty active day for volcanoes. And as well, active for earthquakes all around Indonesia today. Looking here, satellite imagery, huge low pressure system, North Atlantic, bringing in lots of moisture to the United Kingdom and to Central Europe, overlooking Pacific Ocean. Intense low system here, moving into parts of Oregon and Washington right now. Other than that, no cyclones or typhoons to report. Satellite imagery overlooking the rest of the world. Some intense storms were brewing today throughout Central Africa. And as well, stormy conditions through eastern and northeastern Brazil. And a couple low pressure systems there grinding up into eastern Europe. And as well, the West Indies. Having a look here at windy models. Forecast for the next few days. This big low pressure system in the North Atlantic will eventually start breaking down, but there's another low pressure system here off the coast of the United States that is gonna race across the continent and then get mixed here with some really cool air. Gonna be some very strong winds with this system coming in for the weekend, Friday into Saturday, extreme weather event through the United States and watch for a rain and thunderstorm conditions and very windy conditions across Ontario and 
northeastern parts of the United States, as well then into the Atlantic provinces for Sunday, as that low pressure system moves straight northward. Interesting little pathway for this low, as it's going to be heading west of Greenland towards the New North Pole. And then watch for some pretty cool temperatures to fall in behind that through the Hudson Bay as we have our polar vortex set up in a very strange place as I've been reporting here with daily events worldwide our magnetic north pole that has moved dramatically also late towards the fourth and the fifth another system building there with still snow falling across the Pacific Northwest Having a look here at forecast models for precipitation, watch for about 100 centimeters of snow to fall in parts of Oregon, higher elevations through California with that low pressure system. And then eventually that's gonna be scooting eastward, mixing with an Alberta clipper for an interesting situation across Ontario. Thunderstorm and tornado conditions through southeastern United States and watch for a very windy, possible blizzard-like conditions through northern Ontario and Quebec. Long-range forecast, still a lot of snow in this forecast for the next 10 days. Especially across the Atlantic provinces, as you can see there. Looking around the rest of the world, Daily evaporation rains through Africa, South America. But South America will be intensifying in thunderstorm conditions this week. Other than that, no major systems to report or cyclones through the Indian Ocean. Quick glance around the world. And thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to smack that like button and maybe share with your friends and family. Overlooking down under, you've still got an interesting low pressure system that will be scooting across the continent. The continent. And then a long range forecast, watch for some interesting weather across southeastern parts. Widespread thunderstorm and torrential downpours. Much love, everybody, and heads up. Stay safe and healthy out there. Stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun. Today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. 